Okay, this episode is for guys who like to have panthers and tigers in their their list. I'm gonna go through gray wolf. Uh, I know there's other lists like in uh, turning. I mean, um, earth and steel. But uh, this is a, a version three book, and I think the lists are are slightly better. What I'm looking for, I'm gonna go through all the lists that that are possible to have tigers and panthers. But um, uh, I'm going to focus, what I'm really looking for are lists that you can you spend a, a, just a small amount of points on the Panthers and the Tigers just so that you can have that extra flavor. The first one that I was looking at was the Felder Holly uh, Panzer Kampf Group. It's Confident Veteran. You can get uh, one or two Panthers for the headquarters, but as you can see here, you have to have at least one of them as your platoon. Now you can go with another um, tank, Panzer 4A, Panzer 470V, um, but they're closer to the Panthers than the other ones. They're a little bit a little bit expensive. So uh, I'm not a big fan. It is possible, but you're going to spend a lot of points um, trying to get those uh, Panthers and Tigers out, and that leaves points for little else. Now one of my favorites. Now you got the Panzer uh, Grenadier Kampf Group, which allows you to have a lot of troops, and you can get a, a Panzer company which has Panthers in it, and a SS. Now you have to use the uh, the third SS in order to do that, but you kind of take away from yourself if you don't do the Panzer Kampf Group. Now you do have to add the two Panzer um, platoons. However, if you look at it here, you don't have to have the headquarters. You can take the two Panthers here, and then you can take Stugs uh, and or Panzer IVs. You don't have to have one of the platoon's Panthers, which saves you in points. So you can just get these two Panthers if you wanted. And the reason why you want these two Panthers for your headquarters is because you will get Panzer Ace skill for being 3rd SS. In addition to that, if you look at the uh, Heavy SS Tank Platoon on page 174, you'll see that you only have to get one Tiger. So you can really cheap out 240 there, 425, you know, you're looking at 665 points for two Panthers and one Tiger. And that's just to give you a little bit of flavor. You can get some cheap tanks, you get some uh, good infantry here to cover your flanks. You, you can have a lot of options with this. So this is a really good list to uh, get those Panthers and Tigers and especially fearless veteran panthers with a, a Tiger A scale, which is awesome. Um, after that group, you have uh, something that people probably wouldn't look at too often. It's the Ersatz Pioneer Company. It's great because you have pioneers. You only have confident trained, and your Schwer would be confident veteran, and the panther would be confident veteran. But it's nice to have these uh, pioneers to help clear the way or be good anti-tank troops. They're just very useful even though they're they're just trained. Um, because they're trained they're much cheaper. So that that may be a really good way to go to get that. Uh, in addition to that you can get veteran tank hunter. Believe me. I'm gonna go over the rules in a future episode but they're awesome. They really are. Uh, the next list that uh, is very good well, they're actually, they're the basic ones. You have the um, Gebanserte Panzer Grenadier Company. You can get a Schwer, and you can get a Panther. Again, these are all confident veteran. They're, they're the vanilla type of list. Lots of options. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have too many. You know, the models that I have aren't really uh, compatible with this list. So I personally stay away from it, but it's a good way to uh, get it. Again, it's just vanilla. You've got good infantry, and then you've got your tank support that you want with the Panther and the Tigers. The uh, Panzer companies also do the same thing. You can get the Schwer, and you can get the Panthers in here. The problem is is that uh, you can't make them really your company commander unless uh, you know, then you have to get one platoon of, of Panthers, which is actually on this side over here. So that's 560 for three Panthers, and then 375. You know, you're you're starting to get over budget if you do that. Well, one of my favorites, and uh, 
this is probably something that people have, have been looking at. Um, the 4th SS. It's a, it's a basic infantry company. You can motorize them, but they're not going to be mechanized. So that's a disadvantage. It's one thing I don't like about But they've got everything else. You can get the Schwerz, which means you can get Tigers, King Tigers. And then here on page 42, you got the Nordland. And these uh, Panthers aren't the best, but they're there. So it looks like you have to take the uh, Stugs, but really the Panthers are there for 610 points. They're Fearless Veteran, and uh, everything here is Fearless Veteran, except for your Tigers, which is okay. Confident Veteran is, is very good. That'll help with points. So this is a very good list. Um, another reason why I like it is because I have the models for it, so it uh, really helps. Then, of course, you get to the one that is basically built for guys who like Panthers and Tigers, Kampfgruf Baker. Now you can get one Panther headquarters, three Panthers for your platoon, and then two Tigers for the second platoon because in its force organization, you can see here, you can get the uh, Tigers. A um, little skimpy on the list, but it works for our purposes. And um, yeah, if you like Panthers and Tigers, there are plenty of options out there for the Germans. You don't have to choose between a panther and a tiger. You can have both. You can have your cake and eat it too if you're the Germans. That's what's great about them. Hope you enjoyed it.